Meet the new and improved Chad Jones. Hips forward, bring your knees out, over your feet, and explode. Excellent. Lifting weights, agility drills, and running. Part of what he and his coaches refer to as a year of torture. It's harder than you think it is, you know, to keep, stay positive, you know, to Every day, just right? even come back the next day, you know. Yeah. It's, <laughs> at a point in time, it was rough. It's been almost a year and a half that Jones suffered severe injuries to his lower left leg in an early morning single car accident in New Orleans. June 25th, you know, I, I remember the wreck just happening and me opening my eyes, you know, and just praying, just me opening my eyes and praying to God just hoping that my leg heal. You know, I'm thinking at the time that I just have a broke, broken leg, you know. But it was much more than that. A severed nerve and a crushed heel among the most serious injuries had doctors wondering if Jones would ever be able to walk without a limb. But 16 months later, the goals have drastically improved. The main step where I want to be, you know, um, for rookie minicamp, you know, rookie minicamp, I want to be out there and you know, out there working out with the team, you know, um, doing it all over again, starting from day one. Here are the men that are trying to make that a reality. Physical therapist John Moran, speed and agility coach Derek Joseph, and strength coach Carter Stam, owner of Final Fitness in Harahan, where Jones works out almost daily. Like for me, the biggest project for me has been this. None of us have any reference to go off of of an athlete that's been this hurt and been down this long to try to bring him back. So they work and work, but work smart. Take this complex agility drill, for instance. Three weeks ago, Jones wouldn't even try it. Now, even with his injured leg, he pushes on. Think that's easy? Here's Jones's physical therapist, his young cousin, and the reporter doing this story giving it a try. And none of us ever came close to losing a leg. What sets Jones apart? It's the fact that he's been willing to push through a lot of pain, a lot of swelling, a lot of medical issues, and they're all starting to subside. So much so that Jones recently ran the 40-yard dash in front of family and friends to celebrate both his progress and his 23rd birthday. His time of 4.84 earned him a phone call from his New York Giants head coach, Tom Coughlin. And I was telling him that, Coach, I've been doing my job, I'm doing my part, you know, working hard, trying to get back on the field. And he said, Chad, you've been doing great. You know, you ran your 4 and 4 and we're here in our staff room thinking that we only need you to get back to 4-7. You know, and me just being a tenth of a second away, you know, that makes me feel real good about what's going on in my situation. But the comeback trail has not gone without any setbacks. And that's not just physically. One big one came on September 19th, when the Giants, the team that drafted him in the third round, were playing on Monday Night Football. The night of Monday Night Football, when the Giants played, Chad walked to the door on Monday night, comes to open the door, gets in his car, and leaves. You know, and I'm just sitting here thinking that I know I'm supposed to be out there with those guys, you know, and it just, it just hit me hard at one point in time. My wife comes in, looks at me. She goes, what happened? And I said, turned around and left. She goes, well, you better get in your car and go there. And I said, I'm loading it right now. You know, with him being the guy he is, you know, he came over in surprise and knocked on my door, and there it is, called a stand. I can forgive you for being depressed, but I cannot get this day back. So the two worked out that night, and along with Joseph and Moran, have been doing so ever since. With major improvements since getting out of the walking boot three months ago, Jones and his team are planning another public workout in December. That's when they will put Chad on display doing more football-type drills as an amazing comeback story gets closer to the ultimate goal. As long as... He's back in the NFL next year, and we're all sitting on a couch on Sundays, <laughs> toasting cocktails. We're good. For CST Tonight, I'm Eric Ritchie. <laughs>